Introduction to Maps Oh, oh, there's a problem. How far is it from Farmer Fred's farm? And in what direction is it? How do we come here? Is the windmill above the hill behind this another farm? So many questions. To answer these, we need a map. This is the map of Farmer Fred's farm. Let us study all the places we had been to. Then we can learn to read the map. After that, we can use the map to go to other wonderful places around and have more fun. Great! Normally on paper, the north is here, south, east and west. The compass here is also pointing in the same directions. In such cases, a compass may be shown or may not be shown. However, here the north actually points in this direction. So, all maps where the top is not pointing to the north must have a compass like this. So, the north is in this direction, south here, east here and west here. We came this way, turned right and went to Farmer Fred's home. After getting the permission, we went to the workshop. Then we headed for the field this way and we passed the barn, cow dung heap, cow shed, trailer and a small house, tractor, stable, greenhouse and finally we reached the field. Then we went to the river and passed the duck pond, hen house or hen coop and finally the river. When returning, we passed by the pigsty, then the sheep browsing and finally the cows in the field. Then we passed by the tractor and went to Farmer Fred to thank him for allowing us the visit to his farm. Now let's see all the routes we took. Wow! To better understand the importance of a map, let's revise and see how things appear on ground. We come through the gate to Farmer Fred, workshop, barn, cow dung heap, cow shed, trailer, small house, tractor, stable, greenhouse, field, ducks, hens, river, pigsty, sheep, cows, tractor and back to Farmer Fred's home. This is really confusing. So, with a map, we can plan out the routes or paths to reach different places more conveniently. Isn't it fun? Definitely it is great. Now let's go to the windmill. The path to take is this and let's go. Stop! 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 Does this road go to the windmill? Oh oh! It is not shown on the map. Now is a problem. The workshop rises up from the ground and so we cannot see what lies behind it. Similarly, we can't see what lies behind Fred's house or what's behind the greenhouse, barn or the stable. Similarly, the ready crop in the field hides the river here. The orchard and the hill too hide the view of the river. Also, here are many rise and fall of the landscape. Let us flatten it all, starting with the compound fence. Let us remove it and replace it with a dashed line. Now this mark gives us the idea of the fence. We can see much more of the area now. 
Let's remove the workshop and place a mark. Next, the greenhouse to remove and place a mark. Now, more of land is visible. Now, let's remove all the buildings and replace each one with a mark. Wow! Replace this tree. Now, this one. Now, this one. Now, all the trees. Out. Great. Now, place a sign for the bridge. Brown strip for the road and blue strip for the river and blue patch for the pond here. Only part of the river here and here is seen and similarly the road is partially visible. Let's flatten the field. Now we can see even more of the river. Great. Now let's flatten the hills. But before that let's see this hill. All around the hill are points that are at the same height above the ground. Join all such points by a line called grid that goes around the hill. Here is one such line or grid. A little higher up we can have another grid line. Then next. And as we go higher the lines become smaller and smaller as the hill higher up gets smaller and smaller. Now we have all the grid lines on the two hills. Let's flatten it. And here we have the representation of a hill. Here is a small circle. So this is the peak of this hill. And here is a longer grid which is the bottom of the hill. Here is another small circle, small grid. So this is another peak of another hill. Between the two hills, one peak here and another peak here is the valley here. Great. Now back to our map. Let's flatten this hill and replace it with the grid lines. Wow. Now we can see all of the river. Okay. Now let's flatten this hill and here's the grid lines. Now flatten all the hills and replace them with the grid lines. Replace the windmill with a mark. Great. Now we can see all of the road. Let's have a plain background for clarity to study the way to the windmill. We are here now and we need to go there. The road does not go to the windmill. The river is in our way. So we go by the road this way. Over the bridge we cross the river. Then we trek along the river. We go through the valley between this hill and this hill. And then we reach the windmill. Done. And this is our route to the windmill. So this is a good map with more details. Lovely. Now let's go. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock, tock. Tick, tock. There. And here is the windmill. Let's study some more maps and have a little fun. Map 1. We are here at the bus stand. We have to go to the docks here. Join the two points. And let's find the shortest route nearest the red line. This is it. And this is the way we go. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock, tock. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock, tock. Tick, tock. Done. Map 2. We are at home here. And we have to go to this place. Join the two points and let's find the shortest route. This is it. And this is the way we go. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock, tock. Tick, tick, tick. Done. Map 3. We are here at the tower clock. And we have to go to the park. Join the two points with a red line. This is it. And this is the way we go. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock, tock. Done. Here is a map of round earth stretched out. The compass is not here because the north points to the top of the picture. So here is north, 
here is south here is east and here is west another map let's see the continents north america south america africa europe asia australia and antarctica here is india this is the map of india and here is maharashtra state and here is karnatak state this is the road map here is maharashtra and here is karnataka state here is pune in maharashtra and here is belgaum in karnataka state moving south from pune is satara then kolhapur and then we reach belgao landmark is important building or site that helps us understand where we are and where we need to go for example some of the landmarks here are paisa college here parihar chowk here dav school here iti here we are here at the university circle and we have to go here to dav school join the two points with a red line and the shortest route is by baner road at baner fata turn right facing north on iti road straight up to parihar chowk turn left that is to west and here we reach dav school but our usual route from university circle is up the university road to bremen chowk then turn left and straight to parihar chowk further down is dav school on the university road there is a landmark not shown here so let's put it now nonetheless have you guessed what it is no okay no problem let's have a closer view of it this is the university road one half for going and one half for coming and here is the road divider here is the sensory garden and here is the swimming pool do you recognize it now correct it is bal kalyan sanstha here to reach home we come this way on dp road turn here and again turn here and down this lane here is lifeline hospital happy nest building which is now aund retreat hotel pushpa suhas building and here is sanjog one building where we stay next to it is sanjog two then sanjog three then shilpatula then a bungalow manas and kaumudi and this is dav school here is panchadeep stores and here is avanti apartment where ajukaka stays here is supreme square and here is hotel shiv sagar so maps are fun after all isn't it great now back to windmill this windmill is used to pump water up from the tube well and fill the troughs for animals to drink from when there is light breeze it will turn this way when there is a wind this is the way it will turn and it will turn this way in a storm when the air is still the windmill will not turn okay let's see it turning great a round and round and round goes the fan up the well water's drawn into the trough it's stored a round and round and round goes the fan thank you the end